Hi, my name is Kelly Cry, and I'm a comic from New York City. Sorry to have to do this, but I need to ask a favor of you. Please subscribe to my channel. It, it's huge for me to get your subscription on my channel, and then you also get constant updates for when each and every new episode of Dave Made Me Do It appears. So if you could do me the favor, button's right down there, subscribe to it. Much appreciated. All right, let's move on. A little bit of crowd work, and also uh, a great interview with a great dude, Brandon Stokes. Okay. I can't even begin to describe how frustrated I am at this very moment. All of the footage that I shot is gone. The time that I've been in San Francisco, is I've been working on doing crowd work. It's a skill, it's definitely a skill to be able to work a crowd, talk to people, uh, provide information, and be quick on your feet. It can go good and it can go bad, just like anything. But I've been promising myself to do just crowd work. Here is a shot for you of me attempting to do crowd work. Hey folks, how are you? Front row, nice. Glass partner, three triage, triage of glasses here, nice. Sweet. Oh, nice, sweet. Great, where'd you get it from? The hospital. The hospital's got no glasses. Oh, I thought you had to see an optometrist and you go to like lens crafters. Oh. Clearly I know shit about glasses. I got 2020 vision. I can see that Nirvana t shirt in the back of the room. Yeah, buddy! Yep. One person claps. Perfect. That's where we're going musically, everyone. That's where we're going musically. Oh. I want to just rant about Britney Spears and her having any money in her pocket for the music she makes, but I'm not going to do it. I'm going to move by that. It'll be okay. Leave on hell dies penniless and broken bankrupt, but Britney Spears, good job. Okay. Huh? Pretty terrible, right? The crazy thing is that at, even after that, you have to go to yourself and be like, I'm going to do that again. <laughs> and the result could be just the same horrible experience. But you learn, you get a little better, you do it again, you do it again, you get a little better, you do it again. You start hitting every once in a while, you know? And then the more and more you do it, you start hitting more consistently. So I stuck with it, I kept doing it, and now here's a clip of me doing crowd work that I feel went pretty well. How long have you guys been nerds for? How long has this been? <laughs> 29 years? Yeah. Good. San Francisco is like the nerd mecca. You guys have like found your spot. Yeah, it's great. Jeez, you guys are crushing it here. You are. It's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. I look like I invented like the fixed gear bike, but I didn't. You guys did, and then I ride it, and everybody buys it, and you guys make all the fucking money, and then what am I left with? People who hate me and say that I gentrify their neighborhood. Oh, I get a bike out of the deal. Yeah, great. <laughs> you get like billions of dollars and like the penthouse apartment. And... You get to walk up to the stripper stage and go, just go like this. I get to go up and be like, <laughs> I'll be at the $5 buffet. <laughs> all right, guys, I'm giving this back to Tony, all right? Give it up for him. So yeah, sometimes you wake up in the morning and you feel great from a set. Sometimes you wake up in the morning and you feel like crap. And also, sometimes right after a set you feel horrible, but you go do another set. You, and you do that set with the hopes that it's going to be better. Sometimes, it is. 
That's it, man. You just keep going. For me, I made a promise to myself that it's this or bust. Like, there's nothing else. This, it's this or nothing. So, anytime that I fail pretty hard at this, I'm like, well, it doesn't matter. There's no other option. So, that's that. Sorry, I'm just running through this, but like, I'm so frustrated from shooting all this stuff and now <laughs> it's gone. So here's my interview with Brandon Stokes. Check him out, Milk Bar. Uh, doing Black Horse and a new uh, spot coming up in September, I believe. He's an awesome, awesome dude and he's always been good to me. Brandon Stokes, San Francisco, part three. Here it is. I hung up on you? I thought you hung up on me. Hung up. Or you don't have no internet or something. I don't know. I'm, what do you want from me? I want to talk to you about Milk Bar. Hold on. Alright. Hello? Yeah. Yo, can you hear me? Oh, shit. There's the crib. Are those your yellow uh, panties on the right there? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Okay. How'd you start at Milk Bar? Uh, my dad, I was living with my dad, and uh, he was uh, trying to uh, convince me that I should work at Caltrain and just do com and do my little comedy thing on the weekend. <laughs> and that was really insulting. Uh, one day I just came, one day I came back home and I didn't have any money. And uh, he was like mad. He was like, well, you need to get some money to put some food in the refrigerator. And I was like, I'm never here. And he went and he got some chicken and stuff. And he got some food for him and my brother and not me. And then I basically just packed my bags and said, fuck it. And I'm not going to come back. How'd you start at Milk Bar? Um, well, we used to have a spot called Dirty Tricks, and it got closed down because we drank a bunch of booze and they didn't make very much money. And these other places, the Milk wanted to uh, start a comedy show, and I needed a job at the time, so I said, just let me do security. So then, uh, eventually, we started it. We started it with like four, four people, and we kind of grew it. How do you feel about the comedy scene in San Francisco? At one point, I gave a fuck about everybody, but um, at some point, like some people, they kind of like turned on me with some bullshit, and then I just say fuck them. I just do myself. I just do me and just the people around me, and I just try to do for like, uh, I just want for for my people to be good at this point in time. Uh, there's a bunch of people who make like garbage, like uh, garbage fucking like safe jokes. And then they're trying to push that on everyone else, and it's pretty lame. But that's only a small group of people, and they suck. But oh, my my people are good. Um, besides milk, what are your, what are some of your favorite shows in San Francisco? 
What the fuck, man? I love that you hate this. I love how much you fucking hate doing this. Okay, well, what do you want to talk about? Maybe we can talk about... Is there anything in comedy that's okay. on your... Thing. I want to talk about what you want to talk about. I don't want to stop. I want this to stop. <laughs> how, how does Milk Bar work? But yeah, I do a couple shows. I have some friends do a couple shows. Sometimes we have dance parties. We have video games, free pizza every Monday. Is it going to look cool on whatever you're doing, this thing? Because it doesn't seem like it. No, it's not. I had to get this shitty software that basically records this, and the whole time that it, it plays back, it's just going to have, like, the advertisement of that software running across your face. <laughs> what the fuck can I do? I'm on a budget, man. I live in a van. What the fuck? Hey, I get it. I wanted to I wish you would tell me that I was going to do something with watermarks on my face. <laughs> I don't want to do it in the beginning. You get me fucking. Look, if you're it. Validating. You're validating me. I know this is fucking stupid. You're fucking stupid. Don't waste my goddamn time. This is where you hang up on me. I wish I knew how to do it this smoothly. <laughs> there it is. Interview right there with Brandon Stokes. Next up, we're in Santa Cruz, San Jose. Check that episode one week from today. Things that I learned in San Francisco, persistence, and just trying different things on stage and figuring out what works for you. And I met a lot of great people. I thank San Francisco so much. I will be back next winter for another round. All right, Dave made me do it. <laughs> it's so stupid. I absolutely love it. <laughs>